Frank Reich was a complete blank show. And it's not just me saying it. No, it's not. It's Matt Ryan, longtime NFL good guy. He put out yesterday in an interview that his last 18 months, including the stint with the Colts, was a complete blank show. Starts with S, ends with T. And I've told you this forever. The Colts are a complete blank show. They are the worst. The media fawns like Glazer over Reich. The media actually said that the general manager of the Colts, Chris Ballard, was the best GM in football. He might possibly be the worst. Now, I'm the only one that have said this. The never played, never coached, fawning media in Indianapolis will tell you these guys are all great. I told you, walking behind Oliver Luck in London and Wembley Stadium, how much he was pissed off about Pagano and the way he coached the team. Guess what? Andrew Luck predictably quit, walked out, quit on a regime in the middle of his career because Andrew Luck, and ask anybody, including Ryan Grigson on our show, did not like to be coached by frauds. He was, he walked. Now, former Atlanta Falcons and Colts quarterback is eager to get his new career as a game analyst. I mean, it was a blank show. You know, it was a blank show for 18 months. Best uh, best way to describe it, but I think everyone in our family handled it well. Came out of it stronger in a really good spot. Okay, well, the Colts had luck. He walked out on this regime. He didn't walk out on Grigson. He walked out on Pagano, and he walked out on Ballard. Just saying, facts be facts. Colts signed a quarterback, Phillip Rivers, $25 million, gave him the ball. One year, 11-5, and five, pretty good. Lost in the playoffs because Rivers couldn't throw the ball, but they wanted him back. Rivers said, nah, I'm good. I'm going to coach football and my kids. Rivers did not want to come back. The list is full, including last year, Stephen Gilmore. Stephen Gilmore came in. Oh, my God, the leadership. The leadership. Incredible leadership, all we heard. You got a guy in here, Stephon Gilmore. I had Quiddy pay a nondescript lineman for the Colts. Correct me. It's Stefan. Who's Steven? Oh, shut up. But anyway, Stefan Gilmore couldn't get out of here quick enough, traded for a fifth-round pick. And now Matt Ryan. Look, Matt Ryan's fault, 14-13, touchdowns to interceptions, but I would argue Matt Ryan had no chance. See, players are stupid. Players listen to what they want to listen to. All anybody's got to do is call me and say, Dan, why do you think the Colts are a blank show? I'll tell you why. There's no accountability in the building. Now, apparently, according to my friend Kent Sterling, there is accountability. Shane Steichen is doing things that have not been done in that building under the Saturday slash Reich regime. Hold people accountable. Be on time. Do things right. Do things hard. Do things like you've been coached. See, Ballard, the general manager, is all about PR, and it's worked for him. He's got an under 500 record, not close, no division titles, has not won a single thing, has not brought a home game in the playoffs in the easiest division in football, maybe in the history of football, to Indianapolis, yet he's in his seventh year. Why? Don't know. Other than nobody, and I mean nobody, handles PR better than Chris Ballard. He's totally full of crap totally condescending to a fawning media. And the other thing is when you have guys like Stephen Holder at ESPN, who's been there 10 years and has never broken a story, you have some little kid named James Boyd with the Atlantic. Nobody knows who James Boyd is. is he walks around camp with high tops, no socks, looking like a 12-year-old, writes like a 12-year-old. You got to pay for these guys at the Indy Star. Uh, It was described to me on my podcast with Kent Sterling as a bunch of little kids sitting around not having a clue what they're doing. There was a guy named Zach Kiefer, who I actually taught at Indiana, was a brown-nosing kiss-ass then, and is a brown-nosing kiss-ass now. And you have to pay for Colts coverage. I've told for years and years and years, this is a blank show. I've been ripped for years and years and years by local media and local blogger boys. Well, you can rip me all you want, but I got to tell you, I've been spot on, and I'm always going to be spot on. They hired a meanie, or excuse me, they hired a meanie, Ryan Grigson, went from 2-14 and 14 to 11-5. and five. They fired a meanie, 
went from not having a loss, a losing season in the Meanies' career, six years, hired a soft, acquiescing, overcorrection media PR guy in Chris Ballard, and I said it at the time, be careful what you wish for, don't mess around with losing, and the Colts haven't done squat, and players of substance don't want to play there. 